In this video, we are going to install the reverse osmosis system by completing the tubing connections. Before the tubing connections can be made, the protective plugs on the fifth stage filter and stage one inlet must be removed. Attach the clear tubing to the faucet adapter by pushing the clear tubing into the quick connect fitting. Gently pull on the tubing to ensure a secure connection. Attach the clear tubing to the stage 5 filter by pushing the tubing into the quick connect fitting already located in the filter housing. This connection uses a metal compression nut fitting, plastic sleeve, and insert that was included with the needle valve installation. Before connecting the tubing to the feed water adapter, you will need to assemble the compression nut fitting. Slide the compression nut through the red tubing, followed by the plastic sleeve. Then, place the insert inside the tubing. Connect the tubing with the assembled compression nut fitting to the needle valve adapter. Hand tighten the compression nut and use an adjustable wrench to ensure a secure connection. Now, attach the red tubing to the stage one pre-filter input by pushing the red tubing into the 90 degree elbow quick connect fitting. The drain line is pre-installed on the system. Uncoil the black tubing and remove the red end cap. Now, connect the black tubing by inserting it into the drain saddle and test the connection. Attach the yellow tubing to the fifth stage filter's T-fitting by pushing the tubing into the quick connect fitting. Please note, if the unit comes with the UV light, connect the yellow tubing to the T-fitting on the UV, as the stage 5 filter will not have a T-fitting. Next, we are going to assemble the tank to complete installation. Apply 6 to 8 wraps of Teflon tape to the tank's metal stem. Then, screw the tank ball valve onto the tank stem. You can now connect the yellow tubing to the tank ball valve. The 4 gallon tank comes pre-charged. Please do not add air or release air from the tank during installation. If you want to connect purified water from the reverse osmosis system to your ice maker, you will need a T-fitting, extra quarter inch tubing long enough to go from the RO system to your ice maker, and a shutoff valve. System Startup Turn on the feed water slowly from your cold water supply. Turn on the needle valve counterclockwise to allow the cold water supply to enter the system. Check for water drips at the connections. Turn on the tank's ball valve to allow water into the tank. The tank's valve is on when the valve handle is parallel, in the same direction with the valve's outlet. Check for any water drips at the connections. When the tank is full, the RO will shut off automatically. Please allow the tank to fill completely and drain once or twice before usage. Drain the tank by lifting the faucet lever up into the lock position. Lastly, allow the system to run while cleaning up tools and your work area. Please continue to monitor for water drips. Make sure there is no water coming out at the connection joints, fittings, housings, and tubing connections. Congratulations, you have successfully installed the reverse osmosis system.